Should we get nachos? Yeah. I feel like you judge your place on the nachos. Oh my God. They're just all sour mix. Thank you. Thank you. How do these nachos look? So this cheese is legit cold, and it's like thick, and it's almost grainy. It's so salty. I never thought you could f up nachos, but they have successfully screwed up the nachos. Excuse me. Can, can we order food? Yeah. Can we get the um, the street tacos and the loaded nachos? Yeah, for sure. All right, let's see the orders in. So it's going from a steam table, which is supposed to be heated. Obviously, if it's not heated, that means that it's in a really bad temperature danger mm -hmm. zone. It's a problem. All right, so now we have the food that you just took out of the microwave. It just does not look appetizing, the beef. No. That does not look like traditional street tacos. She spit it out. I'm taking nothing but fat. Would you have eaten that in the first no. place? No. no. I don't want to talk to the bean bartender. They want to complain about their food, but Cheyenne's attitude is so intimidating and unfriendly, they're scared to tell her. She scares me. Excuse me. Uh, I hate to be a bug, but is there any way we can get another set of the beef tacos? This one was like a lot of fat. Okay. Give me one minute. But I wouldn't even want That's to feed that to my dog. She said she wouldn't even feed it to her dog. It was the first time I think, probably in my life as a grown adult, that I've sent that much food back. <gasps> oh, oh my oh. gosh! Oh my god, it's a boss! Oh my god! There's a possum. There is a possum in the kitchen. And I'm going to go in and deal with this now, because Wendy's got to take control of this place before it takes them down. Wow. Hi, how are you? I'm Brandon, good. how are you? Tiffany. Brandon, nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. My mom called. She said that, that uh, my sister quit. And uh, so she called and asked me if I would help cook. I love cooking. Absolutely love cooking. So as you know, most likely, uh, there were some issues last night with yeah. food that was sent back. So um, what we're going to do today is make some delicious food. Do I get to try it? Of course. Nachos. So I have some chips that we fry. So we're going to just put some cheese on here, some black beans. We have some cumin and some pork, pickled onions, a little sour cream, and some guacamole. Super easy. Dig in there. Let's give it a shot. Let's see. What these nachos all about? I never had pickled onions on my nachos, and they're. I think that's just the way that they're going to be from now on. You're leading the kitchen now, so uh, okay. you add pickled on whatever you want to put it on. This is a dish you should be able to bang out this kitchen easily, and just keep it going. Absolutely. Understand that it's going to be busy, so we need to prep up, and let's get to work. Okay, we'll do the nacho fries and turkey melt. I'm gonna give you guys this. This is your number that he's gonna call. Where do I, do I get up there? You're gonna go right there to that counter. Okay. When he serves it, he's gonna yell for that number and okay. you're gonna go pick okay. up your food right there. Can you like ring a bell? Rather than like screaming out across the bar. What's that sound? Yeah. Fries in the fryer. Those are the fries in the fryer. Yeah. Well, I just see all that bubbling up, and I'm just thinking, somebody's going to eat that. You see smoke like that coming out of the oil. That's because of all the debris in the oil, correct? Yes. It'll get to the point where it can just bubble right over. Look at it. Oh! Oh, my God. Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. That's the worst we've ever seen, Mike. Yeah. Luckily, he was standing right there. I mean, that's look a at serious this. fire hazard. And there's our owner, <laughs> who has no idea that any of this is happening. Wow, he looks like a miserable owner. He does. What is this? 
processed cheese. Okay, so he's taking the cheese, he's added some water to it. Very special recipe going on here. Look at it, it's all lumpy. You're using crap, and then you're watering it down, and you're putting it on more crap, and more crap, and then you're sending it out. Nacho fries. The nacho fries, yeah? Yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I want to see if they're actually going to eat this the way this looks. Yo. <laughs> That's not real cheese. I mean, honestly, this looks like a joke. When it came out on that styrofoam plate with that gross, fake nacho cheese, it, that was greasier than my face back in middle school. <laughs> like, this thing, it was so wild. So there's our owner. Have you seen him do anything tonight other than sit there? He sat at the end of the bar and just had a drink and didn't do All right, we're going in. Those have to taste awful. The cheese kind of tastes like water. And if I didn't ask them to come into this bar, they'd leave right now, wouldn't they? Absolutely. It's a little weird. There's like a bitter aftertaste. Oh, my god. I can't even look through this. I can't watch this anymore. Somebody's going to get sick. Stop them. Come on in. First of all, look at that fry. What you're about to see will blow you away. Here we go. Look at this, guys. You ever see oil smoke like that? You know why it's doing that? Because it is so contaminated with bacteria and filth. Do you understand how dirty that is? Yeah, yeah. You leave at night and don't clean it. You let him leave at night and don't clean it. I personally have spoken to Lewis about cleaning the kitchen numerous times. And I've been on my hands and knees scrubbing the floor. The floor was like that all the way Really? Across. What about and that? I did not finish. So that's like changing a baby's diaper, but not between the cheeks of his ass, because you don't see it? <laughs> Will you eat that food? No, I don't want to eat that food. I don't so want if it. you won't eat it, how do you give it to them? My stomach hurts. I feel like I can't believe I just ate this nonsense. But where's the owner? Come on, let's make it a freaking party. What is that? That's a really disgusting oil. Was that disgusting last week? Uh, I don't know that. The answer is yes. Yeah. Was that disgusting two weeks ago? Yeah. Yes. How about three weeks ago? Was it disgusting then? Yeah, it was pretty bad. And look at this. How do you stand here and live with that? Three weeks ago, it wasn't replaced. Why? I've had no money lately. It's been so tight, and that's the only answer that I personally have as a manager. So you don't have the money to do that. Oh. Nadia! John. You're full of So I got a burger, no cheese, Mimo fries. Absolutely, thank I'll you. I'll do uh, Reuben nachos. And that's our cook, Anthony. Is that burger done yet? So they don't have their food yet. Oh. Which no. has been, what, a good 15 minutes or so? Yes. That's totally wrong. Yeah. The cheese is wrong. You know what? F it. Just put the french fries. I'm done. What is that? That's the Reuben nachos. Oh, no. You're a restaurant person. You know how important food quality and consistency is. That is a huge issue with me. I'm the nachos. I'm the nachos. Please pick up. These chips are awful. There's so much sauerkraut in Thousand Island, and none of the cheese is cooked. How did, how's the burger? I'm not a stickler about hamburgers, but yeah. for us, it was disappointing because they were the basics. You know, how do you mess nachos up? How do you mess a burger up? It wasn't good. John, Anthony, nice to meet you. This is how you get people sick. Oh, came out of a can, and it's been heated. What is that? So this is a calibrated digital thermometer. 104 degrees. See that? Anthony, what's the temperature danger zone? Who trained you? I haven't been trying. The temperature danger zone is 40 degrees to 140 degrees. Anything in the middle, you're going to get people sick. So it's bacteria ridden. Yeah. The smell is disgusting. I want to get something to eat, too. What do you recommend? Um, I like the wings. Cool. I'll get the wings. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, so strong. They have no idea what they're doing. And DJ is just back in the kitchen playing with limes. Do you see any cooking equipment? I don't. All there is is the cheap, tiny little yeah. deep fryer. This is a big space. So they got that big bar and the big nightclub 
and that's the only piece of cooking equipment. So Jason, what would happen if they ordered three items at the same time? They'd have to make them one at a time and people would be waiting a very long time for their food. these chicken wings, it looks like in a in a pail, and he's swirling around, and one wing just flipped up onto the floor. I think these are going to be Amy's wings, too. Well, I guess wings are supposed to fly, right? Yeah. So, now we have nachos. I can look at this food and tell that in the kitchen, they don't give a damn. What are they doing, chef? I, you would think they were splitting the atom with how much work they're putting into this. Look at the cutting board, chef. Cutting board, no gloves. There's raw chicken on his cutting board with his knife, with all his All over towel. his hands. All over the handle. Oh, my god. I'm curious where his hands go next. So he's touching chips now with his raw chicken and beef hands. Covered in chicken. And this is all happening right in front of DJ. Oh, man. OK, now he's got chicken all uh, over everything. This is actually yours, so your chicken nachos. Chicken nachos? Uh huh. He's sending out raw food with a, we got to stop this, chef. In all my years, I've rarely seen such gross negligence as I see in this kitchen. I'm going to go in and give DJ a few choice words. Stop! I would not eat that. There's raw chicken all over this. There's raw chicken all over this. There might be raw chicken on your glasses. Let's go check, chef. Where's DJ? Are you DJ? OK, so this guy is taking raw meat all over your hands, right? With raw meat all over your hands, he goes and touches the handle of this. The container's over there. This kitchen is covered in raw chicken and raw meat, and you don't have a fucking clue what you're doing, and you're watching them. How the f does that happen right in front of you? We want to do appetizers. We want to do short rib nachos. What side do you want with that? In a bar like this, Chef, what would you say your absolute high-end ticket time would be? Twelve minutes. All right, I'm with you. OK, so here we go. I got one, two, three, four, five tops. There's Gerald. He's your cook, Sean. OK. This is the wrong plate. This isn't a nacho plate. So now, at this point in time, this is failure mode, right? Yes. Right. That's hey. wrong. OK. This wait's been over a half hour. Can we wait or start taking out, John? Yep, take out. Excuse me, hot food. Pardon? Hi, guys. What's up? Fine. We have to catch up. You here. do? Yeah. Why, you want to take him to go or anything? No? John! Yeah? They totally just walked out. Unbelievable. All that food's gone. Go ahead. My recon table is walking out. They've been here over 30 minutes, and they didn't get their food yet. Fact of the matter is, I know the service stinks. Now I want to see how the food is. And now, on to the nachos. Touch it, Phil. Feel it. Bad, bad, bad. This tastes like it was cooked months ago. That's nasty. No, it's just right here. Sorry to bother you. You bet. It doesn't look good. Push on that. Yeah. Should a burger push back on you? No. I, I don't have an answer. They f***ed up the burger, right? Yes. One down. Yep. How about this? Is that one right, John? It sat in the window too long. It didn't get that way from being in a window. It got that way from being overcooked, right? OK. Down. How about that one, Phil? How's that one look? Oh, my stomach hurts just from looking at it. That looks like what my cat threw up in my living room this morning. He overcooked the cheese. That is not right. Oh, really? This isn't right? That is not right. Gee, that would have surprised me. How about if I mount it on the wall as a piece of decor? How does that look? Because it serves a better purpose on your freaking wall than it does on a plate. And you knew it when it came out here. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.